no, that's fine. Right now, it's Tacky having wheels. Tacky being a little baby. You're having wheel pants. You're a wheel baby. Ah! I voted somebody <laughs> off. Can you stay off? Yeah, you wanted that, buddy? This guy's streams are almost worse than Rhett Paladin's in Classic WoW. The thing is, most players don't PvP. <laughs> like, you don't, you gotta understand, like, obviously you don't do damage in PvP. There's... <laughs> I need you to calm me down. Uh, I'm gonna get violent. I'm gonna get violent. So what is Pirates of the Heart? It's um, a One Piece shirt. No way. Well, I mean, most shirts are One Piece. <laughs> That was good. good that was a good one. That wasn't a joke. That was a. Okay. And... <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Thomas passing it there with the sniper. Nah, I was done. Mr. Bimble with the sniper. Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are here at the Allied Arena in Las Vegas for the finale of Elevated. Can we can we show the whole? Look at this. Absolutely incredible chat. You guys are famous. You guys are all over the place. We got the big screen here. I'm not gonna be doing it alone, actually. We got uh, three guest hosts today. We got Seer, Tectone, Extra Emily joining us. Woo! Yes, Bog, very exciting. Yes, they're here joining us today too. How do you guys feel? Dude, SVN, I'm so excited to be here with you. Uh, 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 Extra Emily, oh, yeah. it's uh, just so fun. <laughs> good one, Seer. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be really good, it's gonna be really good. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I'm not near the contestants, so I'm feeling really happy right now. Very good, very good. Emily, how about you? I'm loving Vegas, oh my gosh. I went into the casino, I extracted $20, I left with 61. Nice. Let's go, nice. Oh, baby. Some, yeah. Nope. I, uh, I also, last night, came here, I got to the casino, and uh, I went to bed, so. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you yeah. didn't play, you know, League of Legends or whatever. Yeah. yeah, that'd be weird. I went to bed after about, about, Two 45 minute games of League of Legends. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was good. It was a great time. And yes, I did bring a laptop for, uh, for League of Legends. Guys, elevated again. We're here. It's, a, it's the finale, like I said. We have gone through eight episodes. This is episode nine now. We've gone through eight episodes of uh, getting a bunch of new streamers, a bunch of, uh, we, we have a bunch of new streamers, small streamers who've come on in every single episode. They've gone on a different stream. They've basically done different challenges that relate to that streamer, mm -hmm. right? So we've done a whole bunch of different challenges that is, hey, this thing, this challenge kind of relates to a skill that you would need as a streamer. Why didn't we do a lying episode? Uh, like we need a lying and stalling episode. Yeah. Mm. Well, that, that's that's. Stalling for, Asmund did that. That's for season yeah. two. That's for oh, season okay, two. Yeah, cool. the, the lying and backstabbing will be in season Good. two. Good. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh, um, I love you guys. You guys are yeah, so good. Cool. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Let's take a look at our schedule. This is the first of a two-part finale that we got going on here. Tomorrow, part two of the finale, will be on Extra Emily's channel. Let's go ahead and talk about our contestants. Do we have to, SVN? We do. Oh, our finalists. Really? Our finalists. Boring. Let's talk about us. Norfest. <laughs> well, we, can, we can keep talking about us. Finalist number one, Mayor Wurtz. I hate this guy. Mayor Wurtz has oh. been on all eight episodes of Elevated so far. He came on episode one, and he has almost gotten to 15,000 followers oh since he's God. been on. He so tripled his follower count, that's amazing. He has, he has. Let's take a look at our next contestant, Mr. Fimple. Mr. Fimple joined us on episode three. He's been on six episode, and he is getting close to 11,000 followers. Next up, we have Foreign. Foreign joined us three episodes ago on episode six and he has gotten to 4,200 followers, started at 2,700. And uh, that same exact episode, we were actually joined by New Dory as well. So New Dory joined us in episode six as well, and he's made it all the way through to the finals since then. He's been on three episodes and he has almost 17,000 followers now. The first of two lifelines that we had at the end of last week's episode, Miss Skill Shots was on episodes three, four, and five, and she passed on three and four, but she, unfortunately she was eliminated on episode five. Deserved. But as a fan favorite, <laughs> she had a chance to come back, Woo. and uh, she was voted back, and she is joining us again for the finale. And we have another lifeline 
We have another lifeline that went out, and that was to Navius. So, chat, you guys voted on Miss Skill Shots and Navius to come back. Navius was on episode one, two, and three, and he was eliminated on episode three, and he is uh, back after taking a little bit of a break. That's He's a wild picture. 11,000. Yeah, so these are all of our finalists. So, yeah. Yeah, not really very good. excited about Miss Skill Shots coming back, not gonna lie. Put her Hi, down Peggy. once, gonna have to do it again. Oh uh, don't gosh. know if this Mickey Mouse comeback from the grave mechanic is, but I guess we're playing Fortnite or something, but uh, yeah. Hopefully we can eliminate all of them. Yep, and, I agree. And, and again, I could just I take would the like 50,000. Yeah, I would yeah. like yep. that. First up, let's go ahead and meet Mayor Wirtz. <laughs> Woo! Hello, hello, how is everyone doing? Hello, hello good to meet you for the first time. Very good, good to, to see you. you. Very good. Good. This is the very first time. This is the first time, first time. time we've ever met. Very How's first everyone time. doing? How are you guys doing, Chad? Oh, Dude, it's uh, it's great to finally meet you again for the first time oh, thank ever. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, certainly, certainly have not seen you at all no, uh, before this. No, not at the least bit. Yeah, but are you excited? I'm thrilled to be here. Mr. Vipple. Welcome. And I'm going to clap quietly and away from my mic oh. so we're not blowing out Chad's yeah, ears. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank uh, you very good. good to meet you and as well for the first time. I'm a big fan, Skinny Seagal. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. What, what, are, what do those mean? Um, they are all, they have mm. so much meaning. I can't even Wait, which one, which one has the, the least amount of meaning? None of them have any meaning. Woo! Next up. I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have our third contestant, our third finalist, Foreign. Foreign's gonna be joining us. You like Woo! Woo! Very good, welcome, hello. Hello, oh, I travel only two, get 30. Oh, oh, yeah. girl. oh. You got your master at it. That's right. What's good, what's good, what up? Very good. Hi, Seer, Hi. Nice, hey. to hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we all know long hair plus beard. That's yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some form of Middle Eastern, you know. Long hair plus beard. We're like brothers. <laughs> like brothers. You've been on three episodes of Elevated. Yeah. What do you think was your uh, biggest advantage? Just get over the nerves, you know? Getting like, over the nerves. Yeah. After the first episode that I was on, I was just like, oh, word, OK. Like, it, I'm, all, I'm all good, you know? I, I want to let it's you know that if you don't win here, yeah. you are losing $50,000. You are getting no I, PC, OK? That, you will be a the, Like history. I said, the nerves, gone. Foreign, everybody. Right. Thank you, Foreign. Next up, we have New Dory joining us. Finalist Woo! number four, New Dory. Wow, Woo! welcome with swag. Yes. Nice badass. to meet you. Oh. An absolute oh. badass, dude. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Tectone now. Oh. Tectone is dead. Yay. No, he's not. He's fine, probably. Well, just let him sleep for a little bit. Guy. <laughs> At least it's quiet now. At least it's quiet. At yeah, least no, it's yeah, quiet. Yeah, no, nobody else so is going to be loud, so. It'll be totally fine. Uh, there's no there's no other volume that's gonna fill the space. Uh, we're here with New Dory. New Dory, how do you feel? I feel good, man. Just finally, you know, supremacy. Nice to know I'm the best bald guy here. Yep. And wow. uh, yeah, from here, it's just up. Cool, awesome. We could replace him with you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. You look very Your, your tech tone voice is actually very good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do it again, do look, it again. Yeah, do it. Dude, I'm so happy to be here. It's so badass to be here in Vegas, guys. How you guys doing? I'm good, Tech Town. Yeah, That's good, perfect. Good. You sound just like him. What was the biggest thing outside of this that you're looking forward to doing in Las Vegas? Any, uh, so, any sightseeing? Well, I've already lost my money thanks to him. Well, that's don't, pretty, don't that's pretty standard. Don't ever bet with Tech Tone. That's pretty standard. I watched, right. Everybody's up except for the I watched <laughs> everyone else get up money. I think I'm down $260. Oh, that's a lot, oh. man. You know, thoughts and prayers, man. <laughs> not going to lie. I don't care. Thank you so much for yeah. being here at New Dory. Woo! Badass, dude. Chat, you guys voted at the end of last week's episode. Eight for two lifelines, yeah. and the first of which, Miss Skill Shots. The Miss Skill, Miss Skill Shots is back, yeah. all the way from Korea. Hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love Miss Skill Shots. Oh, I love. Yes, nice to see you. Love the outfit. Oh, Hi. Nice How's it going? To see you. Hi. See you. Hi. Um, hello. Welcome. How does it feel? It feels good. Thank you. So oh. this is this is your this is your first time in America? Yes. Well, kind of. I went to Wisconsin, but it doesn't count. Yeah, that right. does not count at all. Because it's Wisconsin. Yeah. And oh, it's not Texas. Uh, if you've been to Texas, you've been to America twice. And it's pronounced Wisconsin. Oh, is it? Yeah, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Did you eat their cheese at least? I don't remember. That's okay. But now like, you're in Vegas. Yes, I'm in Vegas, and it's Woo. exciting. Yay. So you you have a uh, you're you're mat you're actually we're matching. We are matching. We're matching. We're, all, we're black and yellow. Looks cute. Cool. So what is your what is your uh, uniform? Yes. What is Pirates of the Heart? It's um a one piece shirt. No way. Well, I mean, most shirts are one piece. <laughs> that was good. good that was a good one. That wasn't a joke. That was a... Okay. And, uh, and pants. 
They're uh, I'm smooth like butter. Are, are, are you a like weeb? That? No, okay. I don't. I no. Okay. Oh, you like the One Piece, right? Because I don't like weebs. Piece? No, I just oh. wear it. Very good. Okay, great. So, what is the most thing? What's the thing that you're most excited about coming to visit America? Um, I was really excited to like see all the pretty lights. Because mm. in Vegas, there's just like lights, lights, lights. It's so. Beautiful. There's a lot of lights here. There's a whole lot of lights in here and out there. Yeah, and I want to go to In and Out. I think mm. everyone's saying that's it's the okay. thing here. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Yeah. But you I like try to get in once. and out as fast as I can when Wait, it comes to that. Place. I don't no, know. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, if you're lacking taste buds. <laughs> I mean, I think it's. I, I think In and Out's good. Okay. okay. All right. You okay there? Yeah, what's, what's, yeah, yeah, what's wrong? Yeah, what is this? Tech what's wrong? What's going on? What is this main character syndrome? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Really glad to hear um, Do you want to talk to our contestant, Techie? Maybe? No, I'm good. <clears throat> what? All right, Tecton, what happened? Well, I don't know. Where I'm from, when you execute someone from a show, they, like, stay gone, but for some reason she came back, so. <laughs> oh. Well, it's because your vote didn't really matter. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. to be true, and to be honest, with true. everything else you do, doesn't matter. Yeah, really excited for the next contestant, guys. Really excited. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why don't we, uh... Oh, is Techie no, sad that's fine. right now? Is Techie having a Is Techie uh, being a little baby? You're having a little tantrum? Are you being a little baby? Ah! I voted somebody <laughs> off and made me stay off. Ah! Ah! That's you. Ah! Yeah, Look, one, Techno, you gotta learn to be assertive, okay? When you yeah. vote somebody off, you vote them off decisively, yep. okay? Yep. You vote them off so hard that they can't even get voted back in. Yep. Even, okay? even Emily learn. left. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> wants to be around you, Techno. Yep. I think yep. you also voted off Navius. No, and I did he's not. Back. Nope, that is not true. How did well, you make me vote off the only weeb? I'm not a weeb! You, you made me vote off the only weeb. Your profile picture is you cosplaying Gargura. You were wearing a one piece shirt. You made me betray my kind. Again. It's because you're not true to the weave culture that okay. you voted me off. Okay, well. Miss Skill Shots, thank you for coming thank back. You. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We're going to see our final contestant for today. Our final finalist. <sighs> Navius. Navius is back. Navius. Oh, this guy cool scares the collected. shit out of me. Nice to meet you. Please do not stab me. I, no, don't worry. <laughs> Okay. I will stab you if you Those okay. I'll join forces with you. <laughs> okay, deal. deal. We'll, be, we'll be talking. <laughs> Navius is here. Navius is back after being on episodes one, two, and three. You were eliminated after episode three. How did you how did you feel about your elimination? <clears throat> I was actually a little bit relieved because I knew I would get voted back on later. Oh, okay. Can you can you be fair? Can you just take your hands out of your pockets? <laughs> okay. Uh, I have nothing. Oh no, yeah, yeah, no, yep. Mm -hmm. Can I put them back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're fine. Go, we're go fine. ahead. Go yeah, it's fine. I'll just do the thumbs. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. One thanks. finger. Yes. We're, we're, we're cool, right? Yeah. We're fine for now. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Navius is here, and uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, Navius is here. Uh, he's excited. He's rested. He's gonna be Don't back. Don't speak on his behalf. Are you excited? I'm pretty. Yeah. I'm well, I mean, excited. I'm just. I'm just. I, you're, like, okay. I'm really, I'm really excited to be here. Do you yeah, sleep with you your eyes see, open? He's really excited. He's <laughs> like He's ecstatic to be here. <laughs> I think I sleep with my eyes open. I see oh. you just sleeping with your eyes open, staring at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it, but I've heard. I've heard. Navius, everybody. Navius. <laughs> Navius. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Navius. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Navius. Hi. Um, man, that was fun. It's time. So, our next challenge: three chat booths. What is a chat booth? It looks like a cash booth. It's not a cash booth, it's a chat booth. Why? We got, we got good comments and bad comments here, chat. As our resident expert in getting bad comments, uh, bad messages. <laughs> Tecton, do you want to go ahead and explain this one for him? I would love to, us fan. Okay. Twitch chat room is one of the most diabolical places you can ever be. Last night, I came to this arena and I designed three horrible monstrosities inside of each. There are paper filled with live comments from today's broadcast. Yes, that's right. If you type a comment in there, it will appear in that booth. And they're gonna get paper cuts. They're gonna get torn up. Thankfully, they will be covered by their body armor of Progressive. They will have us covered and insured. It will be a great time. But inside, the game is quite simple. The contestants will step in to the contraption. They will Avoid the green comments. You don't want to ban those people because those are your echo chamber and every streamer needs that in order to fulfill their ego. They will be trying to grab as many red tickets as possible. Every red ticket they grab will be plus one. Every green ticket they grab, they will be minus one. And afterwards they will come out and I will read the comments on these cards and I will let them know how many points they have. It is going to get messy. It is going to get diabolical. And that's why we're here to make people suffer. 
And for number one person we're having going in there, it's a demonstration, the person who deserves the most pain, Extra Emily! Yay! Yay! I'm very excited! Oh my gosh, should I wear this? Yes, you should. Okay, sounds good. Gotta have proper protection. Yep, now, once well, again, I wanna remind you, you have 40 seconds okay. to get as many red comments as possible. You want to avoid the greens. Got it. So just take the tickets, stuff them in your pockets. Yes. You will give them to me afterwards, and I will read several to let you know what you banned and what you kept. So just to piggyback off of what Tactone is saying here, managing your chat, moderation, is a very, very important skill that all streamers need to, need to have. They need to know what to do, right? So like Tactone was saying, the green comments or the green pieces of paper are good comments, and the red pieces of paper are bad comments, right? So each one of these that you grab, they're going to be things that you're essentially banning. So that's how the points are going to be decided. Extra Emily. Yes! I want to let you know this whole event was a ruse. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Demo round one, you have 40 seconds to collect as many ready as possible. Don't go now. Collect. So keep in mind, she only wants to grab red ones. Just red. Is she dying? She is dying. The paper cuts are going wild. She is getting cut up. We do have a medic on standby. And we do have progressive. She will be covered. She so yeah, has three things. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. You're going for another 20. You better keep it going. You better keep collecting because you need those points. And remember, everything, nice trust me, chat, she is in an incredible amount of pain, and it is deserved, and her time ends in five. You know what? I'm enjoying this. Four. Let's just do one more. Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, All right, not? here we go. All right, two, one. Hey, hey one yep. more. Have fun. Yep. All of this, years of pent-up torment to get her inside this box. She will never leave, ever. Oh, man, it feels good. You know what? Now that I mentioned it, we could, we could just go. Let's give her another one. Why not? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, one more time. Hey, one more time. Here we go. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you having fun in there, buddy? Doing good? You having a good time? All right. Let's go ahead and get you out of there. Oh, All right. No. Let's see what you did. Oh, hey, you know what? Why not tickets? just uh, <laughs> I can't wait to read the comments today. Yep. These are gonna be so fun. I got three points. Oh, you got one right there too? Oh, yeah, you have a couple in there. Oh, oh you also. Some goodies. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow, man, we're in Vegas. <laughs> no, you don't lie. You were about to cheat, Emily. There's another one in there. Yeah. There's another one there, Emily. You have another one in there. You were trying to cheat. Oh, Imagine yeah. the oh. audible gas. All right, Emily. Would you like to read one of the negative comments? Yes, please. Have fun. Oh boy, oh boy. You are a loser. Yep, let's read another one here. You know what? I like it that. Let's true. just let's have Emily keep reading them. You want, you want to read another one? Emily, yeah. yeah. I like, like that. That was nice. Emily, these are true. Your sturdy is so bad, you should just stop dancing. Yeah. I know. Want to read one more? I don't think I can own. take it. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I can take it. Extra Emily's here. No thanks. I'm good. Cringe. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, five points. Congratulations. Woo! Very good. Very that good. That was fun. Good. What's your strategy going in here, huh? Uh, my strategy is to spread wide and making sure I'm trying to grab as much as possible. Okay. Try to get low a little bit. Use the knees. Right. I think it's important. Now, remember, you don't want to catch the greens. Yes. Those okay. are positive. I don't like yeah. positive comments. You, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you want to keep those in your chat. Oh. Right? You don't want to huh. ban those guys. Okay. Like, oh, dude, you're so funny. Right? Yeah. You want, to, you want to get the red tickets because the red tickets are the truth, and truth equals ban when you're an asthma gold. That's chat. true. That's okay? true. So you want to make sure let's do it. in there. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and get you in there. Okay. And let's get this on the way, buddy. Okay, let's go. Begin. 40 seconds. Now, I really love this because it really shows the new streamers the pain of being a streamer. Trying to go live and seeing all those people say, wow, when Variety stop talking. Two, one, you're done. Keep all tickets in your hand. Don't cheat. All right. Get you out of there, buddy. Does this one count? It yes, does count. It does, does count. on your person does Very count. Very good. Now, you got a whole hole. Brother, you killed it. Thank okay. You. Yep. I'm really good at grabbing things. Yep. Oh. My God. Now, see, that's why wow. I know you play a mean game of fetch. That's or right. a catch. Fetch? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, that's a, that's a different thing. We gotta talk about that later. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a whole. I have a lot of mean things people say about me on a daily basis. You should start a charity for yourself since begging for subs seems to be your true talent. That's from oh, Tech Tones. Oh, yeah, I'll read one real quick. Yeah. How did this guy make it past episode three? Please bring back Oofy. 
You look like Seth Rogen, except without all the money. <laughs> 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Here we go. This is so, not looking oh, good. Okay, so he's, trying to, he's trying to go for a strat he's here. He's trying things. I don't he's trying think to it's scoop him. out in his favor. It's not looking good. Already struggling. You are done in now. Keep them in your hand. Now, you're tracking you were supposed to grab the red, yes? Yeah, but here's the deal. If I have to grab the red, I have to read the mean comments about myself. I'll throw, I don't want to read these. Are you kidding me? Hey, well, that's, hey, that's part of it. So. Uh, go ahead, count it. Right, that's, go. I tried to grab as many green as yep, possible just so I could read the nice ones. Okay, yeah, so we're going to do a count. Uh, how many do you think you got? Oh, probably four or five. Okay. You know, once you're in there, it moves a lot faster than I thought. It, it moves a know? lot faster. And I'm I'm very surprised that that uh, Mayor Wirtz had 38. That's kind that of that was impressive. He's also got really nice big hands. <laughs> he does have nice yeah, big hands. Yeah, they're I've very good. I got a good amount of green, <laughs> a lot of green. <laughs> okay. Um, you're just a small fish in a huge pond of mediocrity. Keep swimming, my friend. Yep. <laughs> Who is? Also, I wanna I wanna add. All of these have proper punctuation. There's commas and periods. I mean, okay. Yeah, we had to, uh, yeah, we had to clean some of these. Up. Yeah. Uh, this is like a dumpster fire. It's amazing someone so bad can attract such a big audience. Oh, it's a compliment. No wonder Tectone calls you Mr. Fumble. <laughs> this guy never uh, wins. Yep. Okay. That, that one's fun? personal. Yep. Hey, I would say good job, but I'm not a liar. Okay, yep. well. You can go ahead and leave. What's your game plan? Oh, Jesus, you got a big old head, man. Yeah. Jesus, bro, oh my God. 38 is the number to beat. 60 seconds. Not gonna lie, he does not look, wait, 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 hold up, he might be on to something. Wait, he's, okay. actually, he's actually killing it. Okay, so he's just going through the motions here. He's, he's, wait, if he, he has a technique and he's just gonna try and grab as many as possible. You got 40 two more, more cycles. 40 more. Oh my God, wait. He's insane. Okay. It looks like he's not trying, but he's he's just doing it, man. Look, you just gotta trust the trust the technique. That's really how this, this is one of those he, where. He's losing a lot. He's not holding on to it tight. He might fall off, but he still has 20 more seconds. He's not phased by the pipe paper cuts. He's ignoring the pain. He is gathering three at a time, slow and methodical, like the tortoise meets the hare. Will it prove fruitful? I'm not sure. There's a lot of green in there, S-Fam. There's a whole lot of green. There's a lot of green. You don't want to band those guys out. And one, stop, don't move. Keep all those in your hand. Okay. Step out. Hey, you look like you did a dang fine job. Yeah, you did. So I will go ahead and count these up. Oh, S-Fam, this is looking promising. 64 reds, uh -huh. 20, Nine greens. Wow. Meaning that your total score, I believe my math is correct, is 35. 35. Right. Meaning that you're in second place if my math served that me. That is 35. That's a respectable score, man, but you know what's not respectable? The 60 I have to read? <laughs> the comments that me and S-Fan will read for you, buddy. Yeah, thanks. We're, you we're, you we're, take it easy. Thank you, I'm a bit part. LOL, S-Fan, what happened to you? <laughs> Did S-Fan and Shrek have a baby? <laughs> Accurate Harley Omega Law. Accurate Harley. I don't look like the dude from Lost at all. I don't, I don't know why that's a thing. I know. Hey, it's, and you won't understand it. I won't. I did because I don't watch backer. it. So, someone out there thinks it. Would rather watch S Fan play Kale Top than this annoying bastard. <laughs> well, that's what you mean. <laughs> You know, I had a 70% win rate, and then they put out that patch, and everybody thinks that Ginsu, uh, go build Ginsu's, build Ginsu's. I'm like, guys, Ginsu sucks, dude. Ginsu's is bad. So I switched back to Riffmaker. Yo, why are you not building Ginsu's? It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I don't like this game. This guy's streams are almost worse than Rhett Paladins in Classic WoW. <laughs> the thing is, most players don't PC. <laughs> Like, you, know, you gotta understand, like, obviously you don't do damage in PvE. There's classic WoW PvE. It's so easy. I could literally, like, just play with my toes and it'd be fine. Yo, I'll go ahead and take this okay. off. Yeah, there you go. Do you want uh, these two? Yeah, great oh, job, buddy. So. No problem, no problem. It's okay. Sorry. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs>
Nudori. Nudori, come on. Oh, that's badass, dude. Almost you done here, boss protective man. Protective eyewear. I need you to explain to me how you think you're gonna beat that. Well, I have more girth, you see. So okay. I feel like I can stop all of them from going up. Okay, here we go. Chat this guy away here. The purpose of today's points are for a, uh, a secondary prize. It. Whoever has the most points at the end of today's show will win a Star Forge PC. That is the purpose of the points for today's show. Three, two, one, do not move. All right. Let's see what you got, big guy. Let's see what you got, New Dory. How do you, how do you think you did? I think I did pretty good. I tried to avoid the greens at all costs, you know? I'm gonna count uh, this right now. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a handshake in advance. Damn fine performance. Thank you, thank you very okay, much. Let's see if that strategy is gonna work out. I'm covered in paper cuts. Do you think you got higher than 35? I'm gonna try to be confident in myself and say yes. Please don't brat me down. You were right there. <sighs> you were right there. You got 54. Oh my yeah. God! <laughs> My Bad. goodness. 54, 54? only red. <laughs> only red. That is That's insane. wild. That is absolutely wild. Okay. Dude, all of these. Yeah. All of these. That is going to be the new number to beat. <laughs> you killed it, man. You killed it. Here. I tried to live up, you know, bald supremacy and all that. You look like if, if Majin Buu ate tech tone. All right. Well, that's, <laughs> that seems that's really, really not cool. <laughs> man. This guy pre oh, pre camp Canute tech tone looking we real weird, champ. Man, you know this is this is hurting me. This I don't guy, like this. This guy's as loud as tech tone. Is he also as dumb as tech tone? <laughs> okay, dude. That was from Sears uh, episode elevator. You look like a one star pulled tech tone. What the? F we have missed skill shots coming up. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you get a lot of mean comments? Yeah. You do. <laughs> But it's it's usually so, in TikTok. I've been, I've been chilling in their offline chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so they're mostly TikTok. I banned him though because he was very rude in my chat. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So so what is the meanest thing anyone has ever said to you? Um. I don't think you should be on. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. The meanest thing anyone has ever said to me yeah, was no. No. Yeah. Well, I said no a lot. <laughs> no. What is, the, what is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, uh, 54 is the number to beat. Easy. Really? Yeah. Would you like to place a bet on it? Yeah. Really? Okay. I bet you 20 subs that you don't beat 54. No, I want to bet a tweet. A tweet? Okay. If you beat that, you can tweet for my account. Okay. That easy. Okay. Do you have any strategy going on in there or no? Yes. What's your strategy? You'll find out. Ooh, okay. Perhaps okay. we will see a hidden technique or something, but this skill show. <laughs> How are y'all gonna call me a weave? <laughs> okay, let's oh, just go ahead and get you in there. Okay, yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever been out weaved before. Uh, let's go ahead and get you in there. Uh, and real quick, just to make sure you don't cheat, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, no, no, we're gonna go ahead and take those off the side. We have to take those off the side. Can, can we, like, knock them down? Does that work? Yeah, yeah we can okay, go no, knock it's good. Them. It works. There's only greens left, basically. Okay, good, good, right, good, good. Very good. good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go. We got 60 seconds left. This will be a lot less painful now that you're safe. You have 60 seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Here we go. 60 seconds. <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I have it. Okay, you have 60 seconds. I have, okay, here we go. <laughs> Wait, Wait, don't read them now. Don't read them. Don't read them now. You're supposed to grab, this <laughs> what grab the reds. Why the reds, the, the reds. green one. Grab the reds. Grab the reds. Grab the reds. <laughs> Why are you reading them? What is, she needs positive reinforcement. <laughs> You have to get the run! No, it's, read, grab as many as you can. Go uh, again, again. Grab more, grab more! Grab the reds! You not, can't... Oh, God, she's feeding into her own echo chamber. You can't do this. This is actually a very common problem. Yes. It's when the chat box turns into an echo chamber. Yes, she's this is a very common illness. problem when you only have good comments. Oh. It's, an, it's actually, it can be an oh issue. Oh, my God. It's the opposite problem of getting too much oh. toxicity. She's going to turn the biz. Positive toxicity. Done, 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 done. 
Get, get, get you out of here. Get you out of here. Yeah. There is. This so, is so nice. I love this. So this is toxic positivity at its finest. Oh. So this is when your cat turns into an echo chamber, and there are no mean comments. We will mm. count out Miss Skillshot's score. This is better than a tweet, by the way. You have negative nine. Woo! Miss Skillshot's comes in with a whopping negative nine. Here are three. Here are three. I have three. Because, shall I start? You may start. Your stream has helped me through a lot. Oh, here's a fun one. Miss Skillshots is so much better than Tech Town. <gasps> oh, knew. that is so fun. I have made watching her a part of my morning routine every single time she turns on my stream. She has changed my life. The funniest, most charismatic streamer on the platform. I will tier three sub for years to come. <gasps> I'm excited to see the alert pop up. Thank you. Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one blew out of that bar. Oh, no, that's OK. What's up that's... with the Harry Potter glasses, loser? Hope you get voted <laughs> off. Nobody likes you, no matter how green comments you read. Ooh, oh, ouch. God, I get that wrong. Get out of here. Thanks. <laughs> No mean comments here. Wonderful, Very good. wonderful, Very good. wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. Very good. Uh, Expelliarmus. We have one more. We have Navius, our second lifeline, who's come oh. back after being eliminated on episode number three. So glad to have you here, man. Uh, yeah. Real, real honor. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a really big fan of your work, and uh, I think you're going to do a really good job. And uh, I think I love it. I'll, you know, I'll clean up for you. OK, yeah. Ask Fran if you want to take care of Navius for a second. Yeah, here, go ahead. And, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. You want to put on this uh, progressive coverage here, this progressive apron. And you have the eyewear as well. It's very important to be. A, wait, how many of you guys have glasses? Wait, there's, there's definitely like an, an uh, like out of the ordinary like percentage of people that have glasses. Uh, there's I, four I, out of the six. I, I think you look great. I think your glasses are super cool. I just realized this. Are glasses cool now? On uh, well, Navius, I think everything's cool he does. Yeah. All right, so we have Navius inside of the chat box. And it's time. 60 seconds on the clock, three sets of 20. Hectone is going to let it rip. 60 seconds. I just feel so much safer. All right. Mm. Wait, what? What was that? Wait, he just lost them all. Got it. He had, he had like a massive, like they all just shot into his hand. They lost them all. He is doing the strat of grabbing the red and then dumping the green. I do think that is the best way because every green ticket is actually negative progressing because the ticket's only worth one. The ticket is technically worth negative two. Oh my God, he is stabbing them. All right, Navy is our last contestant for challenge number two. I will let you know that the score was probably less than you would have liked but I still think you did really good because you're just a really good competitor. I think you should have won, man. I, I really think you should have won. Um, but unfortunately, you did only get 20 points, but that's okay. That's better than That's Fimple. okay. You did, you did great. You did great. Thank you. Yep. That's, that's... Yeah, uh, uh, tw 20, 20 points, 20 points. 20 points? 20 points? Yep. 20 points. Yeah, 20 points, 20 points, yeah. Okay, well, let's read some of these. I think Navius' streams aren't good, but that's because I'm really dumb. Uh, so don't trust my opinion. Is, yeah. that, is that really what it says? Yeah, no, that's what that's it says. That's not what it... No, that's what it says. That's what it says. Uh, you you want to read one, S-Man, or...? Uh, this guy makes Seer look like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I am an angel. Uh, uh, okay. That's... Well, well I, think, uh, I, think, I think we're probably good. We can keep going. I'll read one more. Yeah, I can read one more. more. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Uh, please end stream. Hey, great job, man. Thank you. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Great job. Okay. So, uh, that was terrifying. Uh, <laughs> so, let's have a recap of our first slash second challenge. First one was a warm up. So, mm. first challenge, actually. Uh, we have. 38 points for Mayor Wirtz. Negative two for Mr. Vimple. 36 for Foreign. A whopping 54 for New Dory. 20 for Navius. And a uh, solid negative nine for, uh, for, for uh, Miss Skill Shots. We have another game here called Sales Pitch. We're going to have Seer. He's going to demo how Sales Pitch works. Our contestants are going to have a chance to take a look at a product and they have to do a sponsor. Seer, would you like to, uh, would you like to take it away? Uh, 
I remember this. Cambodia, 1946. Infiltration, the East Sector over to the West. I remember that. Sir, sir, hey, sir, 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 hey, take cover, sir, 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 my leg, my leg, sir, 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 we're doing, we're doing sales pitch, we're doing sales pitch, the, no, this isn't, it's okay, sales pitch, the game I talked about, no, West Van, this was there, this was, that is what no, this is, no, 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 this was discovered in Cambodia, 1946, Infiltration of the East Sector. I thought you were no. talking about your... No, you're not gonna, they're not gonna stop me. Production's not gonna stop me. Sir, that's... This, ladies and gentlemen, was discovered, Cambodia, 1946. <laughs> <laughs> Under heavy fire. Sir, you're War bleeding. from the Eastern Front. Wars were fought. Blood was shed for this to be found. Here, you need to stop getting shot, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, now you're covered, now you're good. Okay, continue. I remember that day. You know how many presidents were assassinated guy. because of this thing right here, ladies and gentlemen? Seven of them. Mm. And there's only one of them in the world. Not only that, there's also an NFT associated with it. <laughs> so that's my favorite thing about this. Mm. And uh, the, with the 76 NFT. Yeah, with, with all the turmoil that it's brought. Very Whew. I need you to call I, me down. I, I, uh, I'm gonna I, get violent. I, I'm, I'm gonna get violent. I'm so sorry that I'm gonna happened. get violent. Sierra, I'm so sorry that happened right now. I'm so sorry. I, I implore you to re listen, Sear. I implore you to reconsider your anger. Cambodia, okay. 1946. People were there. This was there. This was the one. And uh, yeah, you need to buy this. <laughs> what? That was really good. Don't try and take its face <laughs> off. I was making sure it was authentic. <laughs> So, okay, uh, very but, good. But their situation is gonna be a little bit different than this. Yeah, well, I would say significantly different. <laughs> so, let that be an example of a way <laughs> to not do this, okay? You're gonna have one physical product to advertise, and you're gonna have five imaginary digital products to advertise that you're doing sponsors for. So, uh, <laughs> no, you have the, you have, can we get a, can we? <laughs> mama, mama, so, mama. let's go ahead and have our first contestant we're gonna have Mayor Warrens. Mama, mama, mama. Just... <laughs> Mayor Warrens, are you ready? Yeah. Have I'm you not... ever done a sponsor before? Uh, yes. I've done one sponsor and then they didn't respond after I sent them some stuff back. Good. So, so that's, that's uh, alarming and also not promising for this. But hey, well, we'll see how you do. Maybe they were making a mistake. I think they're, they always make mistakes. It happens. They always make mistakes. Um, you want this back? Yeah, sure. That's this, not gonna this be this mine, from right? 1946. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't need that. That's probably cursed. Yeah. So. Don't throw that. <laughs> All right. On your mark, get set, take it away. Hello, folks. Mayor Wirtz here, and I have an exciting new product for you that you are gonna want in every single one of your households. Quite frankly, it speaks for itself, and. It can go so many different things in so many different areas. The chicken, everyone needs one. Everyone wants to have one of these things in their homes. They wanna have them in cities for some reason and wake up all of your neighbors. They wanna have it in the country at some times. And quite frankly, the best tip that you're going to be, is you're gonna become this man right here, a man of wealth, knowledge. When you look at this man's face right here, you know that he has at least 20 chickens under his belt at all times. And boy, do those chickens love him at all times. Now, let me, let me tell you about the exterior of said chicken. It comes in white, black, brown, red, and purple. It's incredible. Five different colors for you. It also has a light in the back, so you can use it when you are quite scared. I don't know exactly what this thing is, and it scares me. But that's okay, because I have multiple chickens available for me that will fight for me and die for me. Not only are they collector's items and great friends, they're also soldiers at the end of the day. And they will protect you at all costs. From this, I assume, is a little girl. I don't know exactly. Um, let's talk about payments, folks. Now I understand. We're on, the, we're, we're on the internet. We wanna have all these wonderful payments. And quite frankly, for four easy payments and one complicated payment, you'll be able to have this chicken and you'll be so enthused, like this individual right here, that you'll be jumping for joy. 
in every single stretch of your imagination. With chickens, you could do anything you want with these chickens under US legal law, okay? I'm not gonna get into what you can't do with chickens. I'm not allowed to talk about that anymore without crying, so that's okay. I didn't want to bring this up, but it is my show, it is my sponsor. I can do whatever I feel. As Finn, are we allowed to talk about what makes the egg? Absolutely. What, what makes the egg? Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. The egg itself comes from this thing right here. Now, when a mommy chicken and a daddy chicken love each other very much, they go into the barn at night and they scream. They scream so loud. I don't want to tell you exactly what happens, but these chickens become born. These people did pay me to do this sponsor. I want to make sure that's very clear. Each one of them has never harmed a chicken. Mm. I want to make that very clear. Mm. Every member of OTK has never harmed a chicken, mm. and they would never do that at the least bit. Because mm. chickens deserve to be alive, and they deserve to be in your home. Look at these things and tell me that you don't need these in your life. Everyone will respect you more. You'll get a better raise. You'll live a better life with all of these chickens in your domicile. I love these chickens and they can love you back. If you don't even have a lover, you could have these chickens around. You can watch television with them. You can watch Cheers and Frasier and another third example I can't think of right now, but it doesn't matter because these chickens will listen to you and your feelings and your thoughts. You don't have to look at those bad comments anymore when the chickens are around. They can't even read. Please use my offer code, Mayor Wurtz at checkout, and you'll receive a 10% off discount code. Mm. It's incredible. Very good, very good. Thank you. Very good. Very solid sales pitch. Great job, very good. Chad, are you guys buying or selling? So here's what we're gonna do for the, uh, the, the uh, the points here, Seer, Emily, Tectone, you guys, I want you guys to uh, confer on the points. The total points awarded are from zero to 50 for this challenge. What, okay. really? Yeah. Wow. I actually really did, did uh, like the sales pitch. I like how you were able to keep talking, keep having mm -hmm. the conversation going, uh, keep uh, using the, the different things that came up on the screen. I like that you dissed the Weebery. I like that. You handled the D very well. Yeah. I would, I would be confused. Yeah. What I was proud there. that he kept it family friendly. I would give that a solid 45. I was pleased. I enjoyed it. I was engaged. I never started veering off or thinking about anything else. So I would have to say 46. 46. Because I'm just that much more friendly than you are. OK. Oh, yeah? OK. Watch this, Seer. Well. I'll give it a 47. <laughs> it was pretty good. Oh. Okay. Well, that was good. Yeah? What? What, Dick Tone? What are you going to do, huh? Ten. What are you gonna do? I give like a thirty. <gasps> like a thirty. <laughs> like a thirty. Yeah. Okay. So if we go and take the average of that, can we? Do we have a calculator? Can we average our points together? Bring back the ice cream hoodies. Okay, we're not talking about that right now. But <laughs> OTK merch, OTKnetwork.com. Check out the shop. Oh, hold on one second. What do you got there, Sarah? <sighs> oh, do you wish you knew? This is kind of creepy, actually. Don't ever, like, don't ever touch my stuff, like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> do it. Back away. Check this out. If you can do that, you're oh. cool. Oh, that All right, was good. Think quick. You didn't even look chill while you did it. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Think quick. Oh. <sighs> It's all about that. So when you walk into the club, uh huh, and there's like, like hella hoes checking you out. Uh huh. You're like this. Hey. Hey, so I don't know you're chill like that, bro. With your gorilla. Damn, dude. 1946, Special Forces, mm. Eastern Front, was there. So here's That'd the thing. Fun. Can I explain to you my 30? I'm yes. not. I'm not IGN. I don't give nines out for everything. You know, I'm not gonna say, oh, nine out of ten goes for everybody. That is the basis score. I will probably never get to 40. I will probably never get to 20. I feel like his 
was very good. Above average, 25 is the average. Mm -hmm. Feel like he was above average. Not gonna give any 50s, not gonna you give any zeros. You know that's crazy? How many people do you think are in this room right now? Because I don't think any of them asked. Mm -hmm. And it's wild, because you're just providing this unsolicited information. <laughs> and you, you always do this, do not touch my 1946 Cambodia. product. Mm -hmm. Cambodia. Mm -hmm. You okay? <laughs> I was missing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. God, you've been through so much. <laughs> See? That's so cute. Think quick. Mm. I think he hates you. <gasps> Chat, type one if you think techie is not cool. I, hey, type one if you think techie is just not cool. That's it, let's see it. Look at chat, read chat, read chat, read chat. Ooh. Dude, S fan! They're all typing one, ooh. ooh. So here's the plan, chat, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to have our votes in, but also we're gonna have chat. Okay. We're gonna have chat scored on a scale of one to 10. And again, scale one to 10, it's gonna be multiplied by five, so it's on that one to 50 scale. Mm. That way, uh, the reason why we're doing that way, just for transparency, just to explain, uh, we're scaling it based off of uh, the, uh, the same point scaling from the first challenge. So that way, one challenge isn't weighted super heavily uh, compared to the other ones. Wait, is this like weapon scaling in Dark Souls? Yeah, it's like weapon scaling in Dark Souls. Are we talking like A this weapon is, scaling or are we talking B? Well, this is like, uh, I mean, it could even, even be as high as S, right? But we're going for a quality build, right? So we're gonna go like max 40 strength, 40 dex. Yeah, and exactly. And then we're gonna have uh, no stamina, so. Great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next up, Merit Words is currently at 79 points. So we take Chad's score, we take our score, put them together, uh, average them together, and then he is now at a total of 79 oh, points, Merit Words is. Nice. Right, averaged into the total, 79 points. Next up, we have Mr. Fimple. Woo! Wait, 79 out of 50? No, uh, oh. out of whatever, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would have just done one to 10. Yeah. Sales pitch, round two, here we go. Wow, hey guys, I am so excited to tell you about this new product. I actually don't know what it is, but the sponsor sent it to me. Let's find out. Oh my God. <laughs> well, give me a second. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was gonna need a second here. Um, when I was a kid, my dad had a couple of these. And when he would put me down to sleep, he would always bring these out and it was, uh, I would say it was the highlight of my childhood. And uh, I'm excited to share it with you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, these are two bare little finger puppets. <laughs> oh man. You know, I remember so many fun times growing up. You know, my dad also loved the Nintendo 64. We'd play that all night. After our fingers got cramped, he had some strong hands and he'd pull these bad guys out. You know, imagine this is the bed right here, right? I'm sleeping here, head here my dad would go under the bed, something like this. And I, I didn't even know if he was in the room, he would sneak in. This, <laughs> this man was looking through the window, which would kind of, you know, it would creep me out a little bit, but I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. He just, got to, he just wants to watch. Um, my dad would get under the bed like this, and he would just pop these two guys up. And he would start talking away, and I was like, you know, I thought these were real bears back then. You know, now that I'm older, you know, I found out these are products you can buy. This is actually my old neighbor right here. Um, he was the one who actually gifted these to my father, and that's the thing about these right here. Not only are they great for your family, not only are they great for you, but they're great gifts. Imagine you go to a housewarming party. People are bringing wine, people are bringing, I don't know, other kind of gifts, and you bring two of these bad guys. Just imagine you bring two of these. That's a party seller right there. Oh my, wow, what is that? Um, oh my God, well, <clears throat> this is actually a digital recreation of a disease my father had, which took him out. Um, he's no longer with us anymore, but I'm, you know, it's kind of throwing me off. I haven't seen this in a long time since the, uh, you know, the doctor revealed it, but I think it really ties back all together though, that um, even though things like this may take your family out, Buying this product right here, it'll remember the good times. You know, we, we often get caught up in the bad times, but these two little guys right here, they bring you back to the good times. You know, if I hold them any longer, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start thinking about my dad again. You know, I wish he could be here today to watch me on Elevated, but um, he's not. At least they brought these out for me and it brought back some good memories, you know? Uh, so if you guys wanna be like family to me, pick these up, I would really appreciate it. Very good, very good. All right, solid.
Should we, oh. just do, should we just do out of 10 and we'll multiply it? Okay. That's we'll, we'll do, yeah, we'll do out of 10 and multiply it. And then you can add them together. In that yeah. case, I give you 9 out of 50. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like the storytelling aspect. Mm -hmm. I wish you talked about the project a little bit more, yeah. um, but I'm glad you were able to, you know, really get out your stories there. Yeah. So I would rate a 9 out of 10. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You ever play League of Legends? I, or like Overwatch? I have like a job. Yeah. Friends. Okay. I got like a social life. So the, the, yeah. I haven't I haven't gone on much, but, right. I, but I've heard good things. I so think. so when you're in a team fight, you want to make sure that you use your alt yeah. in the team fight. I don't know what that and, means. Well, the problem is is that you were right there on the edge to popping your alt, and you didn't pop your alt because you didn't cry. The alt is like oh. the ultimate move. The ultimate yeah, your move. ultimate yeah. move. Like the finisher. You had all the backstory. You had all the sadness. You said you forgot your dad. You wanted Chad to be your family. And I, I like feel that. like you really should have just cried there. Oh, and, uh, Ooh, yeah, that would have been awesome. If there was just yeah. a big awkward moment. Yep. Uh, is he actually crying? Yeah, you know what? I actually answer? did believe for a second that your dad did he die? Uh, oh, yeah. no, it's well, all true. I, I, it's I, all I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I kind of like that he didn't. You know, it got close there for a second. I will say uh, I could feel it coming on my. You know, it's you know when your your, your mouth starts you know going yeah. a little bit crazy Cramp, with it. Yeah. it but it's, I, it's, I I tried to pull it together. I thought you know the sponsor might not like it, but. Yeah. I do understand if we're trying to sell products, if yeah. I'm crying over the the death of my father, it, it's way exactly. better for the product. Like when your family dies, you want to make sure you farm that, right? As you should, yes. You should. Yes. So going off my previous scoring convention, mm -hmm. uh, Mayor Wirt would have gotten a round of six of ten with okay. my previous scoring. So I give you a five of ten. Thank you. Well, whenever my mom goes, I'll yep. keep these notes in play and uh, I'll use them then. Thank there you very go. much. Hey, congratulations, it. man. Thank you, thank you. So so chat scored you at a uh, an eight, which is a forty. So we mm -hmm. had forty, forty. 45, 45, and Techno, what was yours? Hmm? What is your math? Techno, what was yours score? Uh, five of 10. Five, okay, oh. so five would be a 25. Yep. Okay, Okay. Oh, so 39 points Woo! for Mr. Fitbull. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, next up, we have Foreign. We got a nice sponsor for you today. I'd love to show you guys what we have today for you. <sighs> and it's just what I thought. The expectations have exceeded. It's your very own Nicolas Cage pillow. Mm. And look at this, ready? It turns into a... A nice red. And then look at this. This is just one face out of all the pillows. You can have this guy right here on the website, mycelebritypillows.com, okay? But for right now, I think we have the most important one. Just get a nice color, just a nice color, nice, a nice color, you know? And it's just the same as the lips there, you know? This is a beautiful person. And this red right here is a beautiful color, you know what I'm saying? But not as beautiful as a celebrity's face. So, celebritypillows.com, okay? Get yourself... <laughs> a really nice Nicolas Cage face, or add some historical figures like this guy. You know, you guys might really be into history. You know, I, I like history myself. <laughs> Another celebrity right here, you know. Get yourself a nice pillow here. Get Nicolas Cage, get an historical figure, or one of your favorite streamers like Tyler One. Celebritypillows.com, thank you. All right, very good. I think you had a very nice description of the product here. I wish you talked a little bit more about the pictures, like Tyler One's head, because it was shaped weirdly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, for sure, for sure. I think you, it was cool that you had like your own website that you brought them back to. Um, and I wish it was like a little bit uh, more faster paced for me, because yeah. I have like, mm. like fast brain. For sure. But uh, I would give it eight out of 10. Right. Thank you. The fact that you didn't put this in front of Asmund Gold's face frankly pissed me off. I wanted, I hated that picture of Asmund Gold. And you know what, that made me mad. Mm. But your presentation, this pillow, I enjoyed it, top notch, you had some good faces. You, what I did like is your first thing, you satisfied the audience is what they want. Oh my God. And when, yeah. when people see a pillow like this, they wanna do oh. this and that's a massive selling point. And you had fun, you were laughing, I enjoyed it. I'll give you eight out of 10. <laughs> Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh no. 
Oh, you get the side. No. Juan, you know, oh, I care it's about okay. you a lot, okay. man. Okay, but I want to let you know. Uh -huh. First of all, I think you did the job of, if there was a product, you sold the product. Thanks. Yeah, you said this is a Nicolas Cage face. Celebritypillows.com. There's a whole bunch of faces that you can get on there. Yeah. But for me, it was a little bit too straightforward. It's you were okay. given a lot of images. I think you could have done more with uh, those. Yeah. And for me, based on my previous scoring invention, I would give you a four of ten. Okay. It's fair. You had some opportunities there to uh, make some plays that you missed out on. Uh, One of which is, uh, if I recall, you opened this up and you looked at it first, right? Yeah. You had this and you opened it and you looked at it first. You saw it, right? And then you revealed it after, right? Uh-huh. What I would have done, okay. I would have hit it as soon as I saw it. Oh, dude, and that would have been chat so would not have been good. Mm. So you can see it, and then I would have waited, and then oh, I would have showed it off, God. and then I would have revealed, that would have right? Been, that would have been so It would have been a smart. lot funnier revealing the product and them seeing the Nicolas oh, Cage face. So I think if you would have done that, that and then been... also, I think if you would have tied in the pictures a little bit more to like, yeah. oh, well, these are some testimonials, right? Uh, first, we have Asmongold, who's, his, his entire life has changed due to these pillows, and obviously he's yeah, got the that, cosplay yeah. on. It's, it's very out of character of him. So, like, I, I think if you had, had, had played up to it a little bit more like that, I think with all that being said, I would give it, like, a five. Okay. Yeah. Chat gave him a 5.5. 5. Oh. The total I mean, is a 30.5. Fair. It's fair. It's all good. It's all okay. Good. Five. Very good. All right. Thanks, guys. Very good. Next up, we are going to have New Dory. Welcome, everybody, to the Elevated Shopping Network. I'm New Dory, and I'm here to show you the brand new product that we have to sell for you today. Let's kick this out. A product after my own art, a product that I personally subscribe to myself. We have, of course, a burger phone. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever been overweight or you, if you've had this craving for this meaty deliciousness, but I will say... This hits on both ends. What better way to get your food delivered to you than by ordering from, with this pristine, beautiful, highly durable phone. It's yours for only four payments of $19.99 and a two-year installment plan. Of course, you want other accessories on your burger. Sometimes you want lettuce or onion or hell, even an egg. I know personally, fried egg on a burger is amazing, but it's even better on your phone. Of course, you can also remind that Kind of looks like me if I shaved my beard, but we're not gonna talk about that anyway. This phone has beautiful signal, has beautiful miles. You can optionally, it can be a landline if you really need it to be. Now, of course, it does come with sesame seeds. You can get other kinds of buns. You can get brioche. You can get Texas toast. You can make this a patty melt burger phone if you want. We have complete customization options for an additional $100 surcharge, but we won't get into that in here. Now, of course, you might be thinking, how's the signal? Is it pretty good? Well, we do carry most of the major carriers. Some of them we still have to hire in, but that's, that's kind of red tape. Now, you might want to think about this if you're traveling. Let's say you're in an RV and you want to go, oh, man, I really need to call ahead and book my hotel. Oh, but I'm really hungry also. Oh, what can I do to satisfy both these things? Burger phone, real easy. You look at this phone, it satisfies the craving with the eyes. It also helps you with ordering your food, ordering your place to stay, or hell, even looking ahead to see maybe you can get a better RV because this one kind of looks like it's from 1986. Um, this burger phone is the peak of technology. It might look like this, but this one's going to put Apple out of business. Let me tell you that one right now. We did have an old model of phone. It didn't really do so well. So in order to try to pave this over, what we've done is we've, bur we, we've buried our old phones. We've buried them in this hole. Now, we're not going to tell you where they are, but if you do find them inside, there is a coupon for additional 15% off this phone. First person to find it will win. Guys on the internet, I know you'll find that real easy. This is a transcendental experience, ability to go even farther beyond. You've had a smartphone. We're at the areas of flip phones. Now we have, foot, we have phones that look like food. And the next step, the next logical step, of course, we have just signed a deal with SpaceX. So we, you, on every single new Falcon uh, rocket, we will have one of these burger phones contacting directly with NASA. And as you can see, it's already wonderful. A <laughs> testimonial from our own Mayor Wirtz <laughs> said that this, this changed his life. He got one for his kids. It hasn't stopped calling him. He has tried to return it because they won't stop calling him. But uh, of course, there are no returns once you do buy these burgers. All sales are final. Can't return food, kids. So be like Mayor Words. Be like his kids, 
even if they're ungrateful, buy a burger phone. Optional, does smell like a phone, would not recommend doing that while drunk. You might eat your phone, that would be very bad. Next thing you know, you wake up, your, your stomach's ringing, you have to go to the hospital, and you don't know who's calling. The next step in technology, my friends, do you want it? All right, very good, very, very good. Very good. Chat, the voting is open. I gotta say, that satisfied my craving for how I wanted to see this done. Absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. The way that you went into the product, I felt like you knew what you were gonna sell. The way you segued into each one of these um, was seamless. I felt like you planned those. I wanted to see a picture and say, this person used it. In my opinion, that was a, a 10 for me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 10 from Sear. 10 from Sear. There was a joke I was hoping you would make that you didn't make and it was with the egg. I was hoping you would say something about like a fried egg answering machine. That might just show my age, well, it's I guess. mobile. I can't have an answering machine as well. It's built in. If you have the it's egg the, installed, right, it right, acts right, as right. a voice machine. Right, right, of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, I thought overall, uh, segues were really good. Uh, the jokes were good. Like Sear said, uh, it almost felt like it was like planned, almost like you knew uh, what was coming up next. Really clever. Uh, the space one showed up. And I was like, I have no idea how he's gonna tie this in or anything. And I think you tied it in perfect. I thought the SpaceX <laughs> thing was funny. And uh, I would also give that a 10 out of 10. Oh God. Yeah, I thought that was really good. Yeah, I think you can think really fast on your feet. It was really impressive. And uh, yeah, the tie into the pictures were really good. So I'll give you a, can I give you a 9.5? Sure. Okay, is that allowed? Yeah, 9.5. So I was watching your presentation uh, and the whole time I was thinking what I would have done uh, and what you could have done better. And I mean this genuinely, I have no idea. Like, <laughs> you were absolutely fantastic. Uh, your delivery was incredible. Your jokes were great. I was, honestly, it was, it was awesome. Cause like, I've been seeing you seat up there and you were talking about how bad you want a computer. You definitely gave it your yeah. fucking all right mm -hmm. now, man. Like, that was really, really, I forgot really, about really the computer. Good. I just really love this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much near perfect, man. Thank so, you. Yeah, I, I, I went over to Techie and I was like, yeah. this is, this is, uh, yeah. This is I how love to do it. Prof, man. Yeah. It's so much fun. I, I would probably give that a nine or ten. That, hey! was, that was really good, man. That was awesome. You should be extending I mean, you it, the lead. Yeah. <laughs> good shit, dog. 101.5 total. Very good. Triple Very digits, good just like my weight. Woohoo! <laughs> for new Dory's score for today, 101.5. Whoever has the highest score, chat, whoever has the highest score at the end of today, it's a brand new Starforge Voyager Creator Elite. And that'll be. Uh, whoever has the highest score at the end of today's show. Next up, we are gonna have Miss Skillshots try and sell us on a product. So we got our next product coming up here. Have you uh, have you done uh, many sponsors before? No. 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 Have you done any before? Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. So Miss Skillshots has not done a sponsor before. Okay. Yes. It's okay if you haven't. I mean, I. I, I, it took me forever to get my first sponsor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's not a thing. Like, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. Ms. Skillshots is going to see the product, and she is going to give us a sales pitch on the product, and she's going to use uh, some, some digital assistance here on the back screen. It's going to show up right here, and then we're going to score her at the end. So be ready to vote once she's done, okay? Ms. Skillshots, are you ready? All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got. She currently is at negative nine. All right, you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, I actually got my first sponsor here. And I'm really excited because it's been many years, five years of streaming, and we finally got our first sponsor. And you won't believe it. Because we've been having this on stream for how long? And they actually reached out and sponsored us. It's so exciting. Can you guys guess what it is? I want to see if anyone can guess. I got my claws just have, as we've been using it every single stream because I look up to my queen, Sid Maru, and I've always looked out for this and I thought that because she had it, I wanted it too because the claw. Do you guys remember? It's been so fun. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I've been using it for actually cooking because I don't like touching things, you know, like when we're doing the cooking streams and stuff. Or like the barbecue streams, you remember? I was supposed to mention these are fireproof. They're super durable. You can actually walk through. Mr. Fimple had this on the stream. Do you remember the, the fire ring and the stuff? He had these exact ones, I swear. 
facts. And they reached out to me to sponsor me. Sorry, Mr. Fimple, but I got the sponsor, as you know. And they're really cute because they can make like these kinds of clothes stuff. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. You know, we smite things with <laughs> guys do you have ideas can someone post an idea for me please <laughs> this is sponsored by the claw thank you all right very good <laughs> okay we'll have our judges come up oh there's here <gasps> oh, 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 oh you missed an image yeah you had one more image um, <laughs> hey, you want to, actually, I should, I'll tell, this, I'll tell that story on that shirt later. Okay. Um, Listen, yeah. I, I think despite having... What do you guys have? What? Go ahead. I don't know where they get those pictures from. It's, it's clear that improv is just like kind of maybe a new thing. It's my strong suit, actually. <laughs> it's not. No, but listen, okay, so here's the thing. That was, that, that was very, that, that... That was a very realistic streamer sponsor right there. <laughs> it, was, it was very believable in that sense. And you somehow managed to get through it and not have like, it was still funny. Even though like I could tell that you were trying to piece things together, you used the ability of a streamer to sort of like carry it along. You were using chat, you went back to your talking points, you're like, this is a sponsor. Oh yeah, it's fireproof. You found ways to stall. It's clear that like, you were struggling at an improv point, which was why I'd take points down. So I say seven out of ten. But I don't think, I don't think you did as bad as maybe you like think you did. Okay. Or I think it was fine. Mr. Judge, I think you're great. Oh. This was, uh, you know, just being, just being real, this was, this was a little rough. <laughs> you know, it was looked tough to get through. It is what it is. Just gonna keep it real, slick. I give you a two out of ten. It is what it is. It's better than zero. Yep. <laughs> I think these are like a little strange, uh, strange items, but I like how you were like, you know, just like showing them off and doing and doing all that. And then uh, I liked like your chat. You're like really chat integrated. Yeah, like, I you am. can tell like you're like, oh, like chat. How are you feeling? Like, what do you think about this product? And I think that's a good aspect of a streamer. But then like improv can be like a little bit hard, which is I totally get it. Um, but yeah, I think you. I like like the your vibes. So you had a really oh, thank good vibe. you. So I would also give it a seven out of ten. I, I say ultimately the whole point of Elevated is you as a streamer, right? Which is what you did. You succeeded. I don't care if you're a good salesperson. <laughs> Nobody cares about buying this. That doesn't matter. What matters is that if it was on a stream, it'd be fine. And ultimately, I just want to be entertained, and it's entertaining. Oh, thank so. you. So so we had seven and a half from you, seven yeah. from you. Uh, what was yours? Two. Two. Okay, so mine is, um, so, so here's what I would say. I, I think, I actually noticed a lot of the same stuff Seer noticed, and I thought it was very funny, and it was like personally funny to me because it was like a, a very standard like, hey, I'm doing a sponsor. Oh wait, I don't have any idea what like this thing actually is. So it was like, you go back to your talking points. It was like a very like, it was, it was, it was like meta funny to, to, yeah. to me. I think you had opportunities to be more creative using the pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, that, I, that I really would have liked to see. Like, for example, like, you have the crab claws and, like, Smite pops up, and it's like, not only that, these guys are doing an integration with Smite next month, and they're going to have a crab champion or so, like, stuff, something like that. Like, would have been, like, like a, just an example, right, of, of something you can do to kind of constantly keep, keep, like, the flow of it going. For me, I would have given it a 5. A 17.5 uh, total alongside your minus 9. So, Thank very you. good. Very good. Thank cool. you. Navius. On you, you got about okay. five minutes. So I actually have a little bit of an advantage on the competition. I paid somebody off to tell me what's in here, so I know exactly what's in here. And I have one at home, I love it. Let's take a look. Is this some, is this some kind of joke? What is, a hamster. A hamster? Um, that's a hamster. I actually used to have a hamster as a kid. Um, I forget what his name was, but I put it in a little, in a little maze type of thing, and I put little, little bits of cheese around. Um, it was, a, it was a very nice hamster. It was my one of my favorite pets. I also had a parakeet, but that's that's not what's on here right now. Um, I used to let them 
play a little bit once in a while. And uh, is it? It's actually, there's actually nothing in here. Um, that's, oh, that, yeah, that, that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, <laughs> I, I, think I, I think I know what they're trying to do. Um, I would appreciate donations. You can just uh, send them over to my PayPal, uh, navius at gmail.com, please. Um, oh, uh, that is actually my, my little brother. Um, he would appreciate the donations as well. It's actually, it's actually to cure a, an illness that he has. And uh, yeah, it's very expensive. Even though we're in Canada, not everything is covered. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I love, I love Baby Yoda. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite uh, characters in Star Trek. Um, yeah, I, I like how the, I really, I really like this picture, how the sun is shining from the top. You can see all his hair that's growing out from his head. And uh, he would appreciate the donations as well. Oh, that one. I didn't know they were putting that one up. Uh, this one is a, uh, I, I don't actually know what that one is at all. But it looks like extra Emily in a, in a bathtub of, is that like dirt or uh, maybe pulled pork? I could buy a lot of pulled pork. I really do like pulled pork, and I would spend probably most of the donations that I received today on pulled pork. Um, that would actually be really appreciated. I'm not gonna do that with it. I'm gonna eat it, obviously. That would be, that would be kind of dumb. Uh, but yeah, that's my, please, please navius uh, at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Any donations? Thank you. Okay, uh, very good. Um, <laughs> okay, judges, you guys can go ahead and come on Jesus up. Uh, chat, you guys can vote. Chat, you guys can vote. The voting is available now. Here's the thing with this one. I think this one was either going to be really difficult yeah. or uh, gives you like a, a really like open canvas for like what it is to sell. Yeah. That's, that's what I thought. Because when you open the box, like, because this is something we talked about before. It's like, what if we had one be nothing, too? It's like, if we had one be nothing and just see, see what, what, what they do with nothing. So you open it up, there's nothing. So your opportunity here is, okay, we're selling the box, right? Or hamster pops up. You were talking about cheese. Oh, I was selling cheese. My hamster got a hold of it. Hamster ate all the cheese. Yep. And, then, and then you roll from there, right? Uh, it, it just Because at that point, you have, like, whatever it is that you can come up with. You just talk about it. Or, hey, it's this product here. You know, it's a hair dryer, and you just keep talking about it as if it's there, and it's just not there, right? Like, there's all kinds of different opportunities there, and I, and I want to see what happened. Um, I was really, really, really hoping that was going to happen, and I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't. But it was also unbelievably hilarious for me to watch you be really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'm, like, just evil, but that was really funny to me. And uh, I would give you some bonus points there for that. I, I would say that's, like, a six for me. Um, yeah. I came down, I think, near around the beginning. It looked like you had nothing in your box again. I think there was nothing in it when you opened it, right? Because I didn't see anything. So I think that was like a very difficult improv challenge to kind of deal with and overcome. Some people probably would have folded and it would have been kind of awkward. I think you just shown that it didn't have anything to do with the product being sold. You still made people laugh. Chat was laughing. Techie was laughing. I thought it was really funny. Nothing was particularly happening, but it was just funny. Again, that's the whole purpose of this is entertainment. So I think you did a great job. Uh, that's a nine out of 10 for me. I do agree that it was probably like really scary and you're like, oh my God, what do I do? Like, there's nothing there. So uh, I understand that it can be a little intimidating when there's like nothing to actually sell. Um, I did also laugh a lot. I thought you have like very, a very good deadpan humor and whatnot, and you like sold yourself. That was good. Um, I wish for the pictures you would intertwine them a little bit more together rather than hopping from one to one. Uh, so I guess that could have been like a little bit of improvement for like storytelling or whatever. But overall, I would give it 8.5. Cool, so you did not do what you were supposed to do, but you also <laughs> were hilarious. <laughs> that was so entertaining because you were supposed to sell a product, but instead it was just like a dude just being <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's just like one of the, the funniest things. It's like 
it's one of those awkward, awkward things that you just see on YouTube of, of like things gone wrong. Uh, no, hundred percent. And some people in chat yeah. thought that they actually thought they fell for your joke. Like they actually thought that you were confused and awkward. And <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it's a bit, it a and it's, it was very well done. Uh, it was it was so funny. Um, yeah, you kind of didn't sell a product, but you also delivered a, a super funny entertaining performance. I'll just smash in the middle and just say, you know, five of ten. Good. Okay. And what was that? What was that chat score? Did we get the chat score? In? Chat was an eight. Okay. Ooh. Chat was an eight. I loved it. Said so, uh, the total was thirty-six point five for Navius. Uh, I thought that was really fun. I love sales pitch. I thought sales pitch was fantastic. We have. Right now, we have, leading the way, we have New Dory at 101.5. Next up, guys, we have our final game, our final challenge the for final? today. The yes. final. Four out of four. Last four one. today. Four today. Oh, my God. We have our final four today. We're going to play a game called Not Dodgeball. Our first captain for today is going to be Mayor Wurtz. Mayor Wurtz is our first captain for today. Come on, come Very on. Very good. And our second Congrats. captain will be Navius. So, Mayor Wirtz oh. will be in this corner. Navius is going to be in this corner. Yo, Here Josh, is how. Let's in my go. Room. Rock, paper, go. Oh, Ooh. again? You're going to make me cry, maybe. We'll see what happens. Ready? Rock, paper, go. Oh, oh God, that's, that's one, one. How thrilling. OK, OK. Is this the one? This, this is, is the, the one, one right the here. Tiebreaker. Ready? <sighs> Give me a sec. OK. Oh, he's going to that place. Yeah. I'm 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 afraid of that place a little bit exactly. Place where demons. Do. You don't know where you don't know where I live, do you? By chance? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna we're not gonna get. Okay, we can that get into right that later. We can get into that later. That's fine. Ready? <laughs> Rock paper go. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Things are really heating up. Oh, all right. Ready? Rock paper go. Oh, GG. There it is. Mayor Wurtz is going to get our first pick. What color would you like, Ooh. Mayor? Yellow. Ketchup or oh, mustard? I'll take the mustard. Interesting. Okay. I know, I'm going to regret that later, I think. <laughs> okay, Mayor Wurtz is going to be picking first, and he is going to be heading up the yellow team. Okay. So, Mayor Wurtz, who's your first pick? Uh, I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, they have done an enormous job today, and I'm going to go with Miss Skill Shots. Okay, Miss Skill Shots. <laughs> Navius, who's your first pick? Yes. Let's see here. Yes. I, I'm going to go with New Dory. Okay. Okay. New Dory. New Dory it is. Uh, Mayor Wars, who's your pick? I'll do my best now, for. we've had our squabbles uh, over this competition, particularly with the Gang Beast episode, but I want this man on my team so bad. I want Mr. Fimple. Okay, Whoa! Mr. Fimple it is. Very good. Oh Very good. Foreign. You love to see it. <laughs> Foreign is oh. going to be joining Navius team. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank so, you. I well, wanted them to pick teams base. before we explain the game because uh, I just think it's more fun that way if they just pick them blind. So here's how not dodgeball oh, is going to work. Here's how not dodgeball is going to work. I don't know where I'm looking. Over there? Over there? I don't know. But here's how not dodgeball is going to work. Basically, in a normal game of dodgeball, you have these foam balls. You have the dodgeballs. You throw them at each other, and you're trying to knock people out, right? In today's game, what's going to happen is we're going to take those balls, and you are going to, instead of trying to knock each other out, you're going to try and knock out these towers behind you. And what you are trying to do is you are trying to get hit by the balls so that they don't hit the wall, or they don't hit the towers. Hit towers, points. So it's essentially a reversed dodgeball situation. It's a reverse dodgeball situation. Now, something to keep in mind is whenever you go and you hit these, uh, whenever you hit the faces, Whichever face that you hit and knock down, the higher up it is, the less points it's worth. The lower it is, the more points it's worth. Now, production is going to keep track of the score. Is that right? OK, Jacob is going to keep track of the score for us. And uh, basically, you want to go and you want to hit as many faces as possible. But the lower the face is on the tower, the more points uh, that that face is worth, right? Okay. So there's a couple stipulations here. Again, you, if you get hit by the balls, that's what you want. You want to be the one jumping in the way of the balls. You want to block them. You want to do all that stuff so then they don't hit the towers. If you catch a ball, normally, normally you use these foam balls, right? So normally you use these. But if you catch a ball, Ooh, you'll get a power-up. So nice. instead of getting knocked out and getting back in, 
you get a big ball. So if somebody catches a ball, you take it. I will throw it to you. We'll, uh, we'll have our judges shagging balls the whole time. And uh, basically, we'll take it. You can throw that. That ball cannot be picked back up and used unless somebody else catches a ball. So somebody catches a ball, then that will be thrown to you. So you get one throw with like the Super Bowl okay. every time you catch. Okay. Now, other than that, jump in the way, knock it down, whatever. The main goal is you are trying to knock the towers down uh, to wherever the faces are, and that's how you get your points. And you can also kick, right? Uh, I would say yes, okay, but, but I'm worried about all this. Yeah. You end up <laughs> punting it, <laughs> <laughs> knock out a light. So, okay, no kicks. Yeah, yeah. No kicks. yeah. Huh. Again, a, a huge, huge shout out to, uh, uh, to the Allied Arena here, of Ooh. course, in Las Vegas for uh, yeah. letting us uh, Vegas. not break their stuff. Yeah, very good, very good. So, on your marks, get set, go. Careful to knock, not knock your own towers over. Be careful to not knock your own towers over. Mr. Fimple playing some good defense. Oh, that's a catch. That's a catch. Fire. So here, Mr. Fimple, you got a ball? Mr. Fimple got the Super Bowl. Another catch from Mayor Remember, Burke. You can do the Super Bowl's one throw. One throw at the Super Bowl. Was there two catches on this there side? Two catches, yes. Two catches. Here's another one. Oh, there's a catch. Throw a Super Bowl his way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh! Super Bowl back, back, back to me, back to me. Track. Super Bowl back to me. Back to me. Yeah, they throw it once. Oh, Thank you. oh man! Oh. Fimple with the six knockdown! Mayor Fimple with the six knockdown! Oh, my! There's only one oh, towel. Oh, my! Two towers oh, for Mayor. Master. Keep going, keep going. What a moment in gaming history. That's 10 right seconds. Now. I know. Honestly, physical specimens. Is 10 seconds. Game. 10 seconds. You have to throw the ball hard. This skill shot is really giving a defense on yes, the play. it really is. Actually, a gremlin. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. Oh. Okay, they're currently calculating all the points. Yeah, Dude, that was a. That 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 domino yeah. was was yes. that was a catastrophe. That was, that was an absolute that was disaster. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was rough. That was planned. That yeah. was an yeah. absolute disaster. I hit out the angle. angle. We've talked about that before. Yeah. Yeah. That was 100 percent planned. Yeah. What's the thing with this? Like, <laughs> look at this. One. Look at this. Wow. I was passing it down. With the sniper. No, I was not. Mr. Fimble with the sniper. Wow, that was crazy. Takes out three. Wow, is that four towers so with one? Can we can we watch that again? Yeah, that was great. No, that was insane. No. That was incredible. Yeah. It, can we can we slow mo that? Freaking that was MVP, insane. My <laughs> it might be. Dude. It might be. Down. Seven towers, one throw. Look at this. this is the, check this out. This Unbelievable. Is all intentional. It's all intentional. That was the plan. Wow! Absolute sniper! And the rest of the just throwing balls and papers. Absolute sniper play of the game <laughs> with one ball, with and not even a super ball. It was it was one of the normal balls. That was insane. A red team earned was that five points. Red team earned five points. Hey, not zero, baby, not zero. Yellow team, yellow team earned 25 points. Nice. They earned 25 Ooh. points. And Mr. Fimple, Mr. Fimple also got a bonus 15 points for MVP of the entire okay. match. Nice. A bonus 15. Thank you. Oh. Uh oh. What was that? Navius is mad. Oh my bite, god. Bite, bite, bite. You think hey, that's bad? This white felt like might be missing a contest. Hey, don't be threatening while I'm winded, all right? Give okay. me like 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. What Make this all means way. is that we have our final score for today. Ow. Our final score for today's finale part one. We were going to find out with our final score who's going to take home the Star Forge Voyager Creator Elite. Oh, I nails. think we have our scores ready. This, this is a real nail batter, guys. Mm -hmm. Our scores on the board. I guess it'll be right here for you guys. 
Wow! Wow! Yes! Nate Dory takes the lead and he wins a Star Forge <coughs> Voyager Creator no Elite with 106 I points. I finally can points. get rid of the Tesseract. <laughs> Maya Wirtz at 104 points. We had uh, Foreign at, or honest. excuse me, we had uh, we had Mr. Fimple at 77 points, Foreign at 70.5, Navy is at 61.5, and 42.5 points for Miss Skill Shots. You so, can play not on low quality. So hey, you did it, dude. Dude, you were talking about this the whole time. I remember you talking about this last week. How you said you're you've got a, a garbage computer. Yes. You got you got a two generation old video card. Yes. It's like it's like five years old. Oh yeah. So. You're gonna get a Voyager Creator Elite, the the big, big, big PC, the Juicer, the 4090, the 13900K. So yeah, so you win that for today. That's awesome. That's that's the point of today's scoring. The point of today's scoring uh, is to see who's gonna take that home. Now here's something that I think is very, very, very important to learn. Okay, and this is something that I think a lot of people that have even been streaming for a long time don't necessarily understand. At the end of the day, when it comes to being a good streamer and being a good entertainer and putting on a good show, it's not about winning. It's about doing things that are the most entertaining and making people laugh and making content. people have a good time. It's about the content, it's about the storylines. I love right? content. I love content, content is great. <laughs> so it's not always about the score, it's not always about winning the game. That doesn't necessarily make you a better streamer or make you, make you more entertaining or anything. And I think everybody who's competed today has done a great job of that, right? I think everybody yeah. who's competed today has done a great job of that. And that is why we're gonna have a finale part two tomorrow. Tomorrow is America's Got Talent streamer edition on twitch.tv slash extra Emily. We're going to have these lovely six finalists show us their talents and us four judges and you chat will be the determining factor on who wins the $50,000 tomorrow. So see you then, super excited, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. And thank you again to Progressive and Allied Arena for having us. Yeah, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. We're gonna we're gonna do a big talent show just like Emily said, mm -hmm. and uh, this whole thing has been an absolutely incredible experience so far. And we are gonna be judging it with the four of us tomorrow. And these guys have they've known about this. They've got their plans together for what they're gonna do for us on on stage tomorrow right here. Oh, I have a baseball game tomorrow. I can't. Sierra has a baseball game tomorrow, but yeah, everybody the else. Guys. Is out. Diablo Four is coming out, so yeah, Tectone so. and I won't be here either yeah. uh so emily will be here tomorrow and I'm the rest of us are not going to be here so but i'm just kidding we're all going to be here okay don't worry uh we're all going to be here and uh it's going to be absolutely fantastic now i think the uh is this the part where you cry guys this was just a really great event and uh <laughs> Yeah, that means a lot that you guys would watch this. No, no, we don't cry until oh. we don't we don't cry until part two. Oh, you part two. Yeah. We cry in part two. So how do you, I, I want to ask before we wrap up? Before we wrap up, I want to ask you guys: How do you guys feel about everything today and this whole experience? This was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. It was awesome. Hey. Yeah, neighbors, what, what do you think, man? I'm a little disappointed with the outcome of the dodgeball. Oh. Uh, mm. yeah, I, think, I think we'll be it's fine. Okay. We'll pick it up in the second half. Mm, okay. okay. I'm excited for it. I think you killed it today, Navius. Yeah, you killed, yeah. It. You you killed, killed it. it. Definitely. You killed it. You killed it. Great job. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess on that note, uh, speaking of killing things, <laughs> it's, the, <laughs> it's the end of today's show. So. Again, huge, huge thanks to Progressive. Huge, huge thanks to Allied Esports. We're here at the Allied Arena in Las Vegas. Yes, exciting. Yeah. We're here with everybody. Make sure to go follow everybody. Do that giveaway. Follow Tech Town, follow Extra Emily, follow Seer, follow Mr. Fimple, follow New Dory, follow Miss Skill Shots, follow, uh, follow Mayor Wirtz, follow Foreign, follow Navius. And uh, of course, you guys already follow here, I'm sure, notifications on all that stuff, obviously. So. Guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for watching Elevated on everybody's streams for this entire season. I hope you guys have had as much fun with this as we all have. And we will be back for part two of the finale, the finale of the finale, tomorrow, right here, 4 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. Eastern, and some other time in Australia. I don't know when, but hope you it's gonna be great. Hope you enjoyed stage users. Woo! See you guys later. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Hey.